by Elwyn Tate. Up on a hill lived a farmer called Bill and a black and white cat called Mabel. They had cows, they had sheep and some hay in a heap which they fed to a horse in a stable. They had apples and beans, potatoes and greens and onions piled up by the box. But what flourished the most on their farm by the coast were their magical trees which grew socks. There were red socks and green socks, long socks and lean socks. There were socks made of silver and gold. They were stripy and spotty, checkered and dotty, while some were just smelly and old. Whatever the type of socks, it grew ripe on the tree of this curious farm. And Bill liked to stroll through his orchard at night with Mabel curled up on his arm. But it was late one July when pirates sailed by and they spied on the magical trees. Yo ho, said the chief, that dastardly thief. Let's take all the socks that we please. So up the crooks crept while Farmer Bill slept and they pilfered and plundered with glee. But watching this theft, with marvellous deft, was Mabel high up in a tree. Oh, what a scene! These pirates are mean, she said in a terrible huff. They're stealing and looting, they're laughing and hooting, and I have had quite enough. Quick as a flash, with a leap and a dash, she ran yelling, Stop, pirates, halt! But she tripped on a jumble of socks with a tumble and turned a complete somersault. Mabel the cat was covered in socks from her head to her paws to her tail. Still she ran and she flew at the piratical crew and she gave an enormous big whale. Yo ho, pirate boys, what's making that noise? said the chief as he scratched on his beard. Uh, he has big floppy toes and a long floppy nose. It walks in a way that's quite weird. It's a sea monster, help! howled the chief with a yelp. Let's scarper, let's scrub, no, oh, let's hide. I'm a monster, all right, and I'll chase you all night. Meow, meow, Mabel cried. Run, run, this job is no fun, yelled the cowardly, villainous pack. So they scampered away on their boat in the bay, and the sock pirates never came back. Mabel collected the socks she'd protected and stacked them up neat in a pile. Then as night turned to dawn, she gave a big yawn and fell asleep with a smile. <laughs>